everybody and welcome back for part two where we're going to take the cross tab that we made in part one and we're going to turn it into a nice uh, APA style uh, table that we can use in a results section. So if you notice on the left I've got a blank word document. Like I said in class for some reason I just always have gotten in the habit of making a, uh, a table in its, its own word doc and then copy and pasting it over to the paper. That's mostly just because it uh, keeps me from messing with any indentations and stuff in APA templates. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, take the uh, cross tab I've got over here and kind of just do a rough count of how many rows uh, and columns I will need in order to make it properly in Word. So we know we're going to need one on top for our table-based uh, label. Then we're going to need one down from that to label the uh, where everybody's from uh, stuff. So that's two and then three, four, five, six, seven. We can leave the totals out. So we know we're going to need seven rows and then to label everything we will need at least one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we will need at least six uh, columns going left to right. So if we go over here uh, to our Microsoft Word, we can go insert Wait a little bit. Again, there's a little bit of lag here because of the VLAB taking some time. We're going to go table. And then we are going to insert table. Uh, now we can hover over the little boxes here and make, uh, make this do the work for us if we really want to, but I think it's just as easy to go to insert table. It lets us get a little bit more specific with it. And we know from our count that we are going to need uh, about six columns and we will need seven rows. So we're going to change that to six and seven. And we're going to hit OK. And now we have our template table. OK, so first of all, we know we're going to need to merge the top row because that's our basic label. So we're going to highlight all of these squares. We are going to right click. And we're going to click on Merge Cells. And what merging the cells does is makes them all one big cell as opposed to individual cells. And we're going to call this table one, and we're going to hit enter, and hit enter again, and we're going to label this. We're going to call this a, a cross tabulation comparing where a reviewer was from with the number of stars they left on their reviews. Don't worry if Microsoft Word says cross tabulation is spelled wrong. I promise you that is how it is actually spelled. And so now let's label everything as needed. Uh, now one of the things that you may notice here is like, hey, we, we didn't quite give ourselves enough space in terms of rows because what if we want a row that just says where the reviewers from before we actually list uh, the variables, and that which case we can always uh, highlight a row. We can uh, go insert, insert below, and it will just create a new level for us. So that's pretty useful. Uh, what I'm going to do now is actually highlight these uh, here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to merge these cells, and I'm going to call this uh, where the viewer was from. Now I actually am probably going to highlight this, go back home, uh, and make this center aligned so that that is hanging out above our variables. And now I'll type in the names of our var variables. So we're going to call that Statesboro, surrounding counties, the rest of Georgia, other southern states, and we'll call this non-southern states, okay? Uh, and then over here, uh, we are going to then add our labels for the number of stars. But again, we didn't quite count right when we were moving over, so just to demonstrate how easy this truly is, uh, we can uh, go highlight, we can right click. If we want to, we can do insert, and do insert close below. Look at that. It's like a magic trick. So let's use this as our label and we will call it uh, number of stars. 
And then our number of stars will be labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. So now what we have to do is match up the number of stars with where they correspond. And the data is right over here. We just have to be careful uh, that we are putting it in correctly. So in this case, we are going to note that it is 1, 1, 1, 4, and 5. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Uh, we are going to do 0, 2, 2, 1, 1, pop over to Georgia, and it is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, other southern states, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, and last but certainly not least, non-southern states, and that will be 1, 2, one, one, zero. So we've got the cross tab now made. Now, kind of what we need to do now is make it APA style. The one of the main things about APA style in terms of formatting tables is the lack of uh, horizontal lines. So I'm just going to start down here and highlight everything in the table, and then I'm going to go up here to design, and then we've got our drop-down label for borders. We've got a bottom border, top border, left border, right border, no border, all borders. What I'm gonna do is click on no border. What that's gonna do is get rid of all borders in the entire thing. So if you notice, there's no lines anywhere, but it's kind of confusing. So I'm going to click down on this once again. Well, first of all, I need to highlight the table once again. I can either highlight or I can click on this thing up here and it'll highlight it all for me. Click down here and click bottom border. That is going to then put a bottom border anywhere that I click. So I know I'm gonna need one up here, so I can go back to design and click the borders button once again, and it'll create that line there. I want one here probably to separate the top label uh, from these. Uh, I probably want uh, another setup, uh, another one here uh, to uh, separate those from their actual numbers. And then finally, I want to separate uh, this variable here. Okay, that is pretty well it. Uh, one of the things that you want to do is highlight this uh, and make this uh, italicized, just because that's what APA does. And then finally, uh, just as far as formatting goes, I'm going to click this button again up here in the corner to highlight everything. Uh, and I'm going to change the font to Times New Roman. Uh, because that is the uh, font that we use in academic style uh, and it kind of always has been. Okay, we have now made a APA style cross tab table out of our output from SPSS. The very last thing to do is to report the Pearson's chi-square. So what I'm going to do is down here right beneath the table. Uh, this is actually not a part of the table, this is beneath the table. I'm going to put note and then a colon, and I'm going to type in Pearson chi-squared, and then an equal sign, and then I will put uh, the 13.476, that's from the value, I'll put a comma, I will put a lowercase df, which is degree of freedom, a space, another equal sign, and I will make that 16, and then finally one more comma, uh, and I will call the uh, asymptomatic significance two-sided. We can just abbreviate that as a lowercase p, and then equal sign, and then 0.638. So what we are do is doing is taking these three values, uh, the Pearson's chi-square total value, the degree of freedom, and the significance, and we are noting it down here beneath the table. Uh, and again, we would want to copy that, and we would want to make that uh, times New Roman. Now, all we have to do is go back to our template where we are writing the rest of our results section. Uh, we would need to highlight this, as well as holding shift and highlighting the notes at the bottom. Uh, right click, copy, and we are ready to paste this table, which is now APA formatted, into our results section and use the words part of the section 
uh, to describe what the meaning of this is. All right, I believe in my whole heart that you are now armed and ready to write and finish your results section.